So you're focused on creating content to attract more clients for your real estate agent business. You've already made a couple pieces of content, but now you're stuck and you feel like you ran out of ideas to talk about. Well, my friend, trust me, there are a million and one topics you can discuss within real estate to use to educate your audience and bring in more leads. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can never run out of topics and make sure you stay till the end for the bonus strategy that I'm gonna give you guys. Hey everybody, my name is Lillian Chakwezi. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Every week I drop videos about real estate, marketing, and investing. So if any of those topics interest you, all that I ask is that you please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I drop the next video. So one of the biggest challenges that most real estate agents who are looking to build up their YouTube channel have is that they don't know what type of content to post. They have no idea what types of videos to make and they have no idea what to make them about. I've also struggled with this when I was first starting out. Have no fear because I'm gonna provide you with some strategies that I personally use to find endless topics to make videos on. Strategy number one spying on your competition to produce better videos. The easiest way to find topics to post about is to simply go on the YouTube channel of the people who have established channels in the real estate field, click on their videos tab, and then filter to the most popular videos. This is a tried and true method that most content creators use to find great content. Simply take the topic of their video and make your own video about it. As you guys can see, one of my most popular videos is the pros and cons of living in Philadelphia. Now, knowing that that is my most popular video, you can make a video just like that, the pros and cons of living in your specific area, and you can also see which one of my YouTube shorts are doing great, so maybe you take the ideas out of my short form videos that are doing really well and turn them into longer form videos for your channel. This is what's called spying on the competition because you're taking topics that are already working based on the content that your competition has put out there and you're putting your own spin on it. Don't try to reinvent the wheel because there's really no need to. This strategy alone should really help you find endless topics to post about because the most popular YouTube channels in your niche are putting out content on a consistent basis. So between previous content that they've already posted and new content that they're posting and multiple channels, you should have plenty of different video ideas to recreate. Strategy number two, Google or YouTube research. Another way to find endless topics for video content is simply using the YouTube and Google search bar and looking at the recommended search results. Now this is what I mean. You can think of a struggle or a challenge that your ideal client may be going through type it in the YouTube or the Google search bar, and it will automatically populate other related topics or video ideas for you to create content around. So in this example, I used tips for first time home buyers, and you can see that Google populated other related topics. Note that since YouTube is actually owned by Google, you will see the same related topics in the search bar on YouTube. Based on the related topics, you can create a great video like tips for first time home buyers after closing, or tips for first time home buyers in 2022. As you can see, some of the titles are state specific, which is exactly what you want to do with your videos. You absolutely want to make videos that are state and even city specific to attract those specific clients in those specific areas that you're working in. Many new YouTubers, including myself, previously made the mistake of trying to target such a broad audience at first. It is much, much better to target a specific audience to begin with and then as your audience grows significantly larger, then you can start to broaden your videos to reach a bigger target audience. When you target a specific area or a specific group of people, you will more than likely get more views than if you were to target such a wide audience. Because at that point, you would be competing with much larger YouTube channels that are all making the same types of videos as you, especially as real estate agents, it is best to make our videos as local as you can get because these are areas that you are actively working in. And as real estate agents, technically, we don't even need to ever go broad if you're sticking to one area, which is what they call your farm area. Within this same search, you can actually check out the people also ask section for even more ideas. Google is basically showing you some frequently asked questions around the same topic, which makes for even more content. And to continue with this same search, if you scroll to the bottom of the Google search results, you can look at related searches for even more ideas surrounding this topic. Within the strategy, there are actually three different ways to find video content ideas, so you really shouldn't have an issue. Number three, answer frequently asked questions. You can make tons of videos about frequently asked questions within real estate that your ideal client has. And if you can't come up with any questions yourself that you think that your ideal audience may have, think about the questions that you're already being asked. 
You can even utilize Google for this by typing something like frequently asked questions for real estate agents in the search bar, and you will see a bunch of results that pop up. This is honestly one of the best and easiest ways to come up with video ideas because this is information that your audience is actively seeking. Think about how motivated you are when you are thinking about purchasing something and you have specific questions about that product. That means that there's a genuine interest in learning about how that product can help you and the chances of you purchasing it are very high when you receive that information in most cases whether it be in the moment or a little later down the line. Now, I just want to say, make sure you guys stay to the end for my bonus strategy. But if you want all the other ways to find endless topics, make sure you grab my ebook. The link is down below. It's called the ultimate YouTube guide for real estate agents. Make sure you check it out. Now, strategy number four, leverage blogs. This is again, a really, really easy way to find tons of content to create videos about. Just go on different real estate websites like Bigger Pockets or Zillow and check out their blog section. You can literally do this on any credible real estate website that you believe puts out valuable information. These companies pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to content writers and SEO specialists to search for information about real estate that people want to know and turn that into blog articles. So you can trust that the information on the site is accurate and that is information that people actually want to know about, which is how those big companies attract people to their websites. So this is what you do. Take their most interesting blog articles and create a video around them. Now the fifth strategy is to use online tools. Now I've shown you guys the organic ways of finding interesting content for your videos, but there's always a faster way to do it using tools and technology. One of the easiest ways that I use to find more video topics is a software called vidIQ. Now this software uses artificial intelligence to automatically sift through high performing videos in your niche and present you with video topics every single day. And it's super, super easy because all I do is literally click the daily videos button and all these video topics pop up and I can choose to either dismiss the topic or save the topic. So imagine if you had all these video ideas presented to you every single day, you wouldn't even have to do any digging or put any thought into finding topics to talk about. And I'm a big believer in saving time. So this tool is extremely helpful for me and I think it'll be very helpful for you guys as well. So I would highly recommend signing up for a free vidIQ account you can actually check out the link below and they have many features that will actually help you grow your channel features that help you put top rank keywords in your videos helps you keep track of the competition stay on top of trendy videos and it'll also show you YouTube channel analytics and so much more so make sure you guys use the link down below to sign up for a free vidIQ account and if you're an agent who's interested in learning how to leverage YouTube to attract more clients and get more business without having a cold call, then make sure to grab my book called The Ultimate YouTube Guide for Real Estate Agents. The link is down below. And I know for a fact that my book will really help you guys gain more clients because every day I get new leads and new clients from YouTube and it is literally on autopilot. And I know I've been benefiting from it and I know you guys can too. So make sure you grab the book. And if this video was helpful to you guys, make sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified when I drop the next video and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until later guys, I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and stay blessed.